He, he kept on making you do sins for many, many years. You did so many very, very bad sins. And then when you one day turn to Allah with a warm tear rolling down your cheeks, Oh Allah, forgive me. I have wronged and so on. And you, are, you feel so good and so nice and happy and you feel clean and calm. And trust me, there is no way that you will not be forgiven if you are sincere. Allah will always forgive you. Even if you go back to him a hundred times, he will forgive you a hundred and one times. Shaitan comes again. What does he, he say? Hey, remember the sins you committed? Yes. Well, they were so bad, worse than all other people. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. You ask for forgiveness, but Allah won't forgive you, not you. Me? Not forgiven. Yeah, they were bad sins. Look at how shaitan is talking. They were bad. Now you start thinking, maybe Allah did not forgive me. That maybe is a problem. That's shaitan. Allah says, why are you entertaining that waswasa again? Why are you entertaining the devil again? Allah says, don't ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah. And you are losing hope in the mercy of Allah. It means you have not recognized Allah. You don't know who is Allah. Does Allah need your ibadah? Does Allah need your obedience? No. Does Allah be affected by your sin? Is Allah affected by your sin? No. You are affected. When you do good, it's for you. Man amila salihan fali nafsihi. Allah makes it clear in the Quran. Waman asa'a fa'alayha. Whoever does good, it's for them, not for me. And whoever does bad, it's against them, not against me. That's why Allah says, ظَلَمُوا anfusahum. Those who wrong themselves. Those who wrong themselves, because you are wronging yourself. Subhanallah. So remember, do not let shaitan come back to you and make you think, I'm not forgiven. Right here, right now, sitting in this beautiful hall in Jakarta, we can actually all be forgiven. You just need to spend a moment, Oh Allah, forgive my shortcomings. The sins I know, the sins I don't know. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, grant me mercy. Oh Allah, I admit my sin. I regret it. I will not do it again. Forgive me and grant me the strength to stay away from it. Amen. Forgiven. Start a new leaf. And see how Allah will open your doors. My beloved brothers and sisters, everyone is a sinner. And the best of sinners are those who repent to Allah, who turn towards Allah, who comes back to Allah and who asks his forgiveness. If you ask Allah for your sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely forgive you. And do not despair in the mercy of Allah. He's merciful, He's kind, He's generous, He's Rahman or Rahim. The moment you cry in sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all of your sins. Shaitan may come and try to confuse you, try to make you feel guilty, try to make you feel depressed. But don't listen to the whisper of Shaitan. Come to Allah, repent to Him, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower mercy on you, and Allah will open new doors for you. When you do something good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you more opportunities to do good. So try to do something good on a daily basis. And ask Allah to forgive your sins. And you'll see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven you and Allah made your life easy. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description.